Okay, so the circuit is given and we need to find V0 T and I0 T. So this is an RC circuit. We have a capacitor and we have several resistors and we have DC sources. Okay, so before time T equal to zero, the switch is in position A. So for, for a long, long time, the switch has been in position A. Um, therefore, um, the circuit looked like, so I would put T less than zero for a long, long time. This is the circuit that we have. 75 volt, 5K, 10K, and the capacitor. Um, but because it has been in this uh, basically situation for a long time, as you know, this will be a steady state because we have a DC source and the capacitor will be open. So basically I can simply um, just remove this capacitor from here. And this is like open circuit. So it's open circuit. Yeah. Now, what is the V0 here? So as you see, as you see V0 was the voltage here. So V0. Um, so we, we have the 75 here, which is divided between two resistors in series. It's a voltage division. So we can say, so this is a voltage division. V0. Uh, is equal to 10k divided by 10k plus 5k times 75 volt, uh, which is 1510. So, and um, I can write this as V0, I put, because we are interested um, at V just before the switch, because you wanna know what has been the voltage across the capacitor before the switch, okay? So for a long, long time, the voltage across this capacitor has been 50 volts. Okay, so I put it as V0 is Z minus before the switch. Also, let's look at the um, what happens to I0 before the switch. So before the switching, this has been a circuit, separate circuit, as you see, this is open. Um, so this is just a separate circuit. And if you look at the I0, it is open, as you see. I0 is, we have a 100 volt, and look at the polarity plus here. So I0 is 100 divided by the summation of the resistors. Um, so I zero, again, I put zero minus, means that before switching uh, is um, 100 divided by 10 plus 40, 50K is two milliamp. Okay, very good. So this is the, the value of V zero and I zero just right before switching. Then at time equal to zero, we put the switch here. Okay. And again, we wanna know what's what, what happens to the V0 and I0. Um, so what we know about the property of the capacitor, we know that the voltage across the capacitor doesn't change suddenly. So therefore, if the voltage across capacitor before the switching is 50 volt, right after switching also will be 50 volt. So I will say V0 at zero plus is also V0 at zero minus equal to 50 volt. Again, this is because of the property of the capacitor that the voltage doesn't change suddenly. Okay, very good. Or in other words, the capacitor tries to keep the voltage across it. So therefore, after switching, still at the initial, just after the switching, zero plus, 
they still have 15 volts. And then we have a DC and then we have now this circuit, the circuit in the right. But let's also look at uh, what happens to I0 plus. Because uh, if you want to do the general form, as you know, we need to know the initial voltage, meaning that after switching at zero plus and also at infinity. So I need to know also <clears throat> I zero plus. So let me draw the circuit at, let's say exactly t equal to zero plus. So we have a capacitor whose voltage is exactly 50 volt. Again, this is zero, exactly just when we switch. We have a 40K, we have a 10K, and we have a, a 100 volt. And I wanna know what is this current I0 at X0 plus. Okay, so as you see, this is 50 volt. Let's say this is ground. So if this is 50 volts, so at that moment, this is 50 volts. And if this is zero, this point will be negative 100 volts. Hopefully everybody sees that. See plus is here, minus is here. So this point is 100 volts less than this. So if this is zero volt, this is negative 100. Okay, so based on that, we can know pi zero at zero plus. Look at the direction of the current. So I look at this voltage, 50, minus this voltage, which is negative 100, divided by the amount of the resistor, which is 10K. So this is 150 divided by 10K, 15 milligrams. Okay, great. So as you see, uh, interestingly, the, the current changed after switching. Suddenly, the current changed from 2 milliamp to 15 milliamp, the current across the resistor. But what is what stayed the same is the voltage. Always the voltage of a capacitor cannot ch change suddenly. So we, after the switching, you still can assume that voltage across it. As you see here, this is the property of the capacitor. Okay, very good. So I found the uh, the voltage and current at zero plus. So the last step would be to find the voltage and current at infinity. Okay, when goes, T goes to infinity, again, the, cap, the circuit will be a steady state because we have a DC voltage. So the, the capacitor will be just open and our circuit reduces to And the capacitor is open, but still the voltage here, this is V0, let's say infinity, and this is I0. Okay. So here V0 infinity is a voltage division. V0 at infinity is 40K divided by 40 plus 10, which is 50K times, now look at here, that's important. So this is plus, this is minus. So I have to look at this voltage. So basically this minus that, which is negative one. Hopefully everybody sees that. Look at the polarity of the voltage source. So negative is in the top. So, um, so therefore, 40K divided 40 plus 10 times the negative 100 volt. So that will give me negative 80 volt. Okay, very good. How about the current at infinity? Um, current at infinity. Okay, so I'm looking at current in this direction, which is the voltage across it. So we have 100 volts 
plus minus across a 50K. Plus minus the voltage of the plus is here. So the current here is 100 divided by 50. And that current is exactly the same as IC. Okay. And remember, this is open. The capacitor was open. So 100 divided by 50K is 2 milliamp. Okay, so all the um, values that we needed for general formula, we have them. We have the V0, as, V0 at 0 plus, I0 at 0 plus. Initial, basically, we have the initial voltage and current, and we have also the infinite value for that. So now let's do the general formula. So for general formula, as you know, for example, if I look at V of T, we say V V0 T, V0 infinity plus V0, 0, 0 plus minus V0 infinity times e to of minus t over tau. Oh, by the way, I need to also calculate the tau. But before that, I'd like to also the formula for I0, I0 infinity plus I0 initial minus I0 infinity e minus t over tau. Okay, so the only thing that I haven't calculated yet is the tau, which is tau, it's RC circuit, is R equivalent times C. So um, on the second circuit, like after the switching, this is what we have. Here's my capacitor. And then I have to look at what's the equivalent resistance that this capacitor see. It, remember, for finding the R equivalent, you have to zero the independent sources. So if I zero these, this will be short circuited. And then the equivalent resistance would be just 10K and 40K in parallel. So let me draw the circuit here. So we have it, we had the capacitor, we had uh, one resistor in one resistor here, another resistor here, but then I had the voltage source, but we zero the voltage sources, right? To find the R equivalent. And then I'm looking at R equivalent. And the values were 40K and 10K. So 40K, 10K. So now our equivalent is 10K and 40K in parallel, right? Both sides of them are connected. So 40K and 10K in parallel. 40 times 10 divided by 40 plus 10. This is 50. Then uh, 40 divided by 4, 8, 8. So R equivalent is 8 ohm. Tau equal to RC. 8 ohm times the capacitance, which is 40 nano. By the way, this is 8 kilo, sorry. 8 kilo. So 8K times 40 nano, 320, 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of negative 9, becomes 10 to the power of negative 6, so it's basically microsecond. So tau is 320 microsecond, and that was the last piece of the basic deposit. So just replace here. 
V0 infinity was negative 80, negative 80, and then V0 zero plus was 50, and then the tau is 320. Like so here I zero infinity is two milli, two milli, and I zero zero plus was fifty. Okay, so just uh, simplify the equations. So V zero T is equal to negative 18. Fifty minus minus eighty one hundred and thirty plus one hundred and thirty e to the power of negative t over tau, which is 320 microsecond, or you can say it is um, 0.32 millisecond. Also, milli, p greater than equal to zero. So this is my p zero, and i zero t is, uh, oops, um, so, Infinity was two million and the here was this fifty. So two plus fifteen minus two, which is thirteen e minus t over tau million. Okay, so we are done. However, I would like to also mention that um, you could also only focus on in this problem V0. So you only focus on this voltage across the capacitor. And once you have the formula, the total formula that you have for like this, the first equation, then you could find I based on that. So if you look at this circuit, when I know V zero T and then let's say this is, if this is ground, if this is ground, this is negative hundred volt and this is V zero T, right? So based on that, I zero T, if this voltage, which is V zero T minus this voltage, which is negative 100, divided by the amount of the resistance, which is 10 K. So basically we have V0 T plus 100 divided by 10 K. This is I0 T for the delta equal to zero. And we already have V0T, the, the formula. The formula here, this equation one, and then just put it in basically this equation. And you're gonna get the, the other equation for the carrot. So please double check, check it yourself. So that was another way, um, maybe with less writing. So you only, find the voltage V0 at zero plus, of course, and infinity. You find the V0, and then after that, you find the current. That's all possible.